Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 93 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. That was us finishing up our trials with Caparito and we are running back to the castle. But there's already people here, so we get to deal with them while Avaro and crew are headed here. So these uh, cloud formations that were obscuring the castle for our attackers have started clearing up. And as though they were waiting for the opportunity, once again scared voices start echoing throughout. <laughs> oh, the dragons are back. <laughs> So, this time there's even more of them. Oh, man, that's really too bad. And furthermore, they're engaging in undiscriminate attacks once again. But since they were prepared for an attack this time, there are preparations up already. Alright, Kisner is directing all the fighting troops to the front. They need to protect their protect the seal civilians and push them back. <laughs> and Detail tells all the women and children to hide on the insides and not to make any noise so as not to attract attention. So we've got these two doing the directions. But he is running around being her usual self, too. So, don't give up, anyone. So, Avaro will certainly come back with a Katorito that is all grown up. Perhaps I should say, Avaro with, will return with Katorito having completed the trials. I don't know, it sounds cool in Japanese, but I can't think of a cool way to translate it. So, everybody hold out as best you can. After all you've got, this goddess on your side. And sure, everybody's feeling courageous in this situation, for some reason. <laughs> so, if we don't fight now, when will we fight? No! Yuck, yuck, yuck. So, we've got a goddess on our side, so there's no way we can lose. So, we're not going to be beaten. And this time, our preparations are perfect. You know, it's funny, we started out that first attack with knocking Fia out of the picture. So yes, I guess, I guess being prepared for it this time, she didn't get suckered. So yeah, everybody keep on doing it like that. In fact, this time we might be able to push them back even without our reinforcements. Alright, Eel cautions Fia not to do anything reckless. Is it just me, or is Mikeu have her snowman on her shoulder more often than she used to? Oh wait, that's not what she's talking about. So anyway, Afaro would be saddened if Fia got hurt, so don't go out in front too much. Just concentrate on healing everyone. Alright, she gets it. She won't do anything stupid, so let her do her best in her own way. Etc. etc. So, Kalmeg is looking at this with a exasperated look on his face. Oh, 
So, in the end, they're waiting on reinforcements. That is a sad way to end things. And to think that they're relying on that one girl who kept running away from everybody's expectations of her. So, this is a pathetic state for a goddess to be existing in. So, it's probably best that we destroy this taboo and everything in it. So, he orders his troops to overpower them and destroy everything. Let's see. If we last 15 turns, we win. If we defeat Kalmer, we'll d we'll win. And we get to set emplacements. Whatever. Now I decided to test out a little theory I had. You see, there are reinforcements coming. Which I found really disappointing, actually. Oh, how nice. Magic attack, physical attack. But the fact of the matter is, we don't actually need reinforcements. Even though the reinforcements come in in only five turns. Or rather, at the beginning of turn five. So we have four turns. Whoops. Now, the linchpin of this particular strategy is Kaori and Yuki. Whoops. No. Now, I took a look at this in my trial run, and it turns out Kaori and Yuki is, I have to say, my best character at this point. Thanks to the desperation skill, Determination. I keep calling it determination, but I think it is desperation. When he's at half-life or below, he gets a 50% boost to attack and defense. And since we handled those angels and boosted his defense, magic defense a whole bunch, he is almost as hard to hurt as Risho and Sebi, but he has 50 attack and both, uh, both physical and magic attack. And as it turns out, this particular boss is weak against Earth, which is Conan's favorite element. And I just fight back a little bit. Oh great, more attack. Yeah, here we go. Now, he hasn't been hurt too much, so he's not going to do all the damage he should deal. But that'll change in a turn or two. Oh, come here. You look actually kind of dangerous. But you need to do more damage. So what we really want, actually, is for Kalmerg to do a bunch of damage to Kabin. So that his desperation kicks in and... Well, <laughs> he's basically killing himself by fighting him. There we go. In one of my trial runs, I got him down below 50% life. And his attacks on Kalmerg did 64 damage. That's 64 damage after a defense had been applied. 
I think it's not unreasonable to speculate that Kaladin could handle all the enemies throughout the rest of the game, except the ones that are unusually resistant to both physical and earth-based attacks. See, let's see what this does. Yeah, I still have two entire turns to kill him and he's almost dead. Well, suck it, jackass. Ha! Hey, more attack. That's magic attack. But anyway. Oh sweet, this is going to be Fia's new accessory. The fool meal will... Uh, in one game, I think it added one to your... Ah, shut up. Uh, anyway. I'm equipping this thing on... Where is it? Here it is. Fool meal. Ah, yes. It does add one to your movement points. But more important, when you defeat an enemy, they will drop two items instead of one. So anytime I'm trying to gather any kind of materials from enemies, that's something you want to have equipped. Now do bear in mind, if you're fighting this battle, you don't have to defeat Kalmerg and you don't have to get that accessory, but I would highly recommend it. Anyway, some random guy is reporting to Kalmerg. That the... Their soldier power is not enough to get through. <laughs> so, are you saying that we can't topple this castle like this? Yes. Retreat. Alright, he's ordering the retreat. If they continue like this, it's just them wasting their power. So he doesn't want any unnecessary damage done to his forces. So, it's a retreat. So, understood. It seems these humans are not so easy to defeat. If the, if the dragon tribes couldn't do it in two whole battles. Well, it's not just the human's power. The goddess and that girl are also quite powerful. I figured he would throw all the... If, we were, if he were going to come to this, he would throw all of the ability of us to withstand him to the goddess and Katarito. But anyway. Oh yeah. I forgot. Since Katarito didn't actually get return yet. On turn five and all. Technically speaking, this shouldn't be happening, but it is anyway. I don't think they would have supposed that I would just run up and kill Karmerja like that. So the blood of the Thunder Dragons is Perhaps. That... <laughs> so, the retainer guy was suggesting that the blood of the Thunder Dragons enabled them to win. And that pisses Kal off. So, he says that a new age for the dragons are upon them. Meaning specifically that he, one of the mist dragons, will lead them instead of the lightning dragons. But anyway, he says he will prove that in the next battle. Ha! I'll probably have Kaurin kill you in one hand again. Alright, so they're retreating. Yep, looks like we won. Hey, Avaro's here too. 
災のみんなも今回は怪我する人が少なかったみたいだよ。So, thank goodness for that. And it seems like there were fewer injuries this time. Whoops. And it's thanks to Katorito. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, yes. Well, Katorito herself is also very thankful. Probably for all the help that we gave to her in her trials and all. But it seems we haven't finished off Karmarg. As expected, they do know the territory, so they were easily able to retreat from us. So, Katsurito says, let's put an end to it next time. She doesn't want everybody in the castle to be wrapped up in the Dragon Tribe's problems like this. It pains her heart. So, Katsurito will guide us to their home base. All right, we're counting on you. This time we get to show a decisive victory to him. And Navarro doesn't want to waste the momentum we built up here. So as soon as we're ready, let's go over there and fight. If we delay this, it'll turn into a long-term war and Navarro doesn't want to speculate as to what that would do to the castle's inhabitants. Yeah, you could have, like, gorilla dragon attacks. Haha, <laughs> gorilla dragons, that's hilarious. Well, all right. That wasn't very much in the way of action because of I wanted to kill him in four turns or less. So this is going to be a bit short, but I do have some work to do. Yes. Hard to believe how much of this I built up. I'm gonna need all this high high quality stone for something I'm building. Yes. Also want a bunch of this. Yes. 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 That will do. And these other things I'll just yes. make. Yes. 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 Uh-oh. Well, I wasn't looking at it all too closely, but it seems I need more of this. Yes. Yes. Oh, I can buy some from... No, that's not it. This. Now, the real things I wanted to build. No, oh, an upgraded knife for eel. This is kind of troubling, actually. Because this knife is made from that knife, and that knife is made from this knife, and this knife is made from her base knife. So, trying to build up a stock of all three of them is going to be a bit hard. Yes. See now her two lightning blades are entirely missing. But now I have an earth blade. Huh. And I'm having trouble getting my hands on lightning beast parts. Stupid yes. lightning beasts and their <laughs> And their annoying tendency to not give me things. Oh. That's a pretty good item right there. I'd like to build this too. There's all sorts of stuff I'd like to build, but... What I made all that stuff for was this item... And this one. Yes. 
よし次だこの場に馴染んでいた建物の配置を変更しよう So let's place some buildings This one is another line type formation item which adds to my defense Not that I actually used any defensive emplacements in that last battle although I could have It also raises my gathering the herb gathering level and when I use magic attacks magic skills specifically it'll add two to my magic attack Sweet, I can go with that Now the other item is... where is it? Oh, there it is. Right here at the top. This is the first of the extra large... of the large type buildings. Now, I guess I don't want to call it extra large because I speculate there will be a 3x3 three three building I can make at some point. Anyway, this thing adds to defensive level as well. Gives me gold every every day, and whenever I throw a magic skill, a physical skill, it adds two to physical attack. I think this is only when you use skills, not when you use your, you know, normal magic attack, normal physical attack. I need a aquatic beast's fin in order to build this. Yes. I think I'll prioritize that just as soon as... Yeah, I'm going to prioritize the aquatic beast's fin just as soon as I get a free day. And, since we beat that last map, for some reason, all of my characters have more training that they can do. I used to have, what, 38 of 67 completed? In fact, I'm fairly sure that Karin's last skill was this one here. And now it's had all these added to it. Two whole pages. So, sure, let's add to his luck. Oh, wait. My first priority I think we're gonna make is this. This is a counter skill. Which, if I pulled off his mining skill, equipped counter... Oh, man. He would mess things up. Especially once he got low on life. Anyway. This is a magic reduction. Kind of like his physical reduction ability, but with magic. And yet more luck. Oh man. This final one takes a lot of high-level mythical beasts, though. However, he now has 20 luck, which is in fact the highest of any of my characters. So, that was a battle. It ended quick, but it was well worth it. So, next time we're going to see what is up with Rosaline and Mikshuana. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.